What's happening? What's cracking? It's your boy. Into the Excel verse. Today we are going to look at his Zoom to Thailand video with Willie D Live. What's up, family? She's feminine. Woo. She's beautiful. Uh huh. Stop the show. <sighs> yeah. I 100% agree. I am 100% on board with what he's doing. And what I think. He's doing a good job. I don't know who does his videos. I, I don't know if, if he does all of his videos. But for the most part, I, I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. I got nothing. If anything, I want to join him. Me and my buddy. He, like, we down. I'm sick of the states. It's complete garbage. Find himself a woman. Who got a problem with it? Everybody got a problem with that? I'm the travel of the and I traded in my Hollywood lifestyle for the sexy beaches of the Thai to Thailand. We're bringing you exclusive interviews, showing you what the golf courses are like, what the caddies are like, what the homies like. So the Thailand and Japan bring you back the travel of the Okay, what do you think? Am I wrong for living a 
a stress-free, drama-free lifestyle? Should yeah. I have stayed in America and just settled for what I could get? Should I accept this modern American woman and their style of behavior in a country that treats us like second-class citizens? Should I feel bad for having a beautiful woman take care of me and wait on me hand and foot without complaining? Or am I front for the camera? Is this some Billy Vanilli publicity stuff? I want to hear what you guys think. Drop a line in the comment section and let me and Willie D know what you think. By the way, I'm building my team from the ground up. I'm looking for a reliable and talented social media staff to help make Zoom to Thailand the number one travel podcast in the world. I'm a one-man band when it comes to this editing, but I can't keep putting out quality episodes and be effective at the social media game. I just want the best person for the job. Serious inquiries only. Please contact us at info at zoomtothailand.com. The only reason why I've come this far is because of people like the lead attorney, Dante's Boxing Nation, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews, World Star, Think Smart Financials, and now Willie D. Live. Let's hear what else Willie has to say. What? Before we start back again, I just want to say that is a brilliant, um, I don't know if that's a resort or if that's by a pool or something, but I want to sit over there. That looks awesome. That looks like paradise. One thing I know, when Willie D takes that long inhale breath, he's about to go in. I was like, here it comes. I don't have to sleep. I don't have to smell her morning breath. I don't have to worry about her balancing the checkbook. I really don't care. People decide that they want to be in intimate relationships with me. What you got to love about Willie D is that whether he agrees on your opinion or not, he always calls a ball a ball and a strike a strike. Well, I don't know why they always try to act like black people all think alike. But we don't. Willie D's a boxer. Anybody that knows boxing knows it starts with the jab. You set the opponent up with the jab. You lull him to sleep. Then boom, you drop that right hand. That's what he did here. He also made some good points. Break it down. I got my own problems. It's very difficult to pair. Very difficult to find uh, companionship. Somebody that works for you, right? And I just believe that let people do what works for them. On a personal note, I don't think this is going to work out long term. Hey, 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 hey. You know what? He's probably right. But me bringing my girl to America defeats the whole purpose of me living in Thailand. Even if I didn't have a girlfriend, why would I want to go back with her and subject her to all that craziness back home? She has a different mindset and a pure heart. To be put in that type of environment... That doesn't make sense to me, Willie D. But let's keep going. I do believe that this is going to come to an abrupt end. Yes, it's over. As soon as those American women get in our ear, it's a wrap. <laughs> he better, boy, he better keep her in the house, uh, lock all the way up because the moment she come out and she man it's over now one thing he got going for himself is that she don't have to work exactly when it comes to the bills and the protection of my woman i got this she plays the role of the woman and i play the role of the man it works out great you go out into corporate america and it's a whole different ball game. Just like that. Those women started getting in their ear talking about, what do you mean you have to ask him, can you go on a vacation with the girls? What do you mean you gotta ask him, can you go to the club? That's never gonna happen. Next day, you know, she starts challenging these things. She starts, because she was like this traditional chick who was, you know, cook, clean, keep the house, you know, keep the house in order. Like he go out and get the money and all that kind of stuff and it worked for a long time but I guess you know it wasn't enough for her so you know she, she started switching it
know, split speed. And that's what's gonna happen. The moment, <laughs> the moment she get around American women, it's over. See, Willie D, that's where you didn't do your homework. <laughs> In a normal American situation, you would be absolutely right. From the way it sounds, you think I came to Thailand to import a girlfriend and bring her back to the U.S. <laughs> no, sir. I'm a man of a certain age, and I've come to learn that nothing lasts forever, especially life. I'm going to let it do what it do till I can't do what it do no more. You <laughs> dig? Right now, it's working out. There's a whole lot of women in Thailand would take that deal. There's a lot of men in America that'll take this deal, too. All you got is cook. That's it. Well, to be honest, Willie D, that's not all she does. She also washes and irons and folds my clothes. And remember, I don't ask for any of this. Not one time have I asked her to do this. I did teach her how to make grits, though. Actually, what me was my cousin Ken, who was a grit specialist. Once I found out they had grits out here, it was a wrap. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I, one thing I do know is that I very seldom see old couples like that. You might see them young chicks, and they, they'll be around for a couple of years or so. Once they get their foot, they get their visa, they get their green card, and they get their foot on solid ground, it's going to meet a few friends, next thing you know, they go. Gotta go, gotta go. So I haven't heard him put it down, black women, whatever, so I ain't going to go in on but uh, I don't see this working out long term. Yeah, the women over here, they're in trouble. Yeah. They're definitely in trouble. It's not looking good. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's not looking good. And pretty much everybody else that came before me with this video they said the same thing. They said the same thing. There's a lot more detail with what I'm going to say. But, because I don't want to say the same thing that everybody else said, but all I can say is like, get your passport. That's all I can say. <laughs>